Artists, as a general personality type, are incredibly more sensitive to their environment than that of the average person. Works that are a product of artists reacting to turbulent times is an excellent gauge for the domestic health, wellness, and the nation's journey through conflict in pursuit of happiness. Inspired by the time Keinholz spent working in an asylum, his work, The State Hospital, is indicative of the way the government treats its useless citizens. Those that have been badly misused, shackled to the bed, unable to reach the most meager of accommodations for physical needs. The State Hospital calls attention to what is hidden by the media and government of the American Utopian Society. George Grosch's drawing, Fit for Active Service, expressed his despair hate, and disillusionment because he saw the disregard for the lives of their soldiers as the officers look on in health, untouched by war, corruption of war firsthand. It was his impression that the government is only interested in the spoils of war, not the costs or possibility of defeat. Created in response to the Spanish Civil War, Pablo Picasso wanted to bring attention to the bombing in Guernica and show the effects of war on innocent civilians. Max Ernst's Europe After the Rain begins a series of protest pieces that clearly demonstrates a shift from victimization to opposition and eventual healing. After a lifetime of conflict and many years in and out of French concentration camps, Ernst confronts us with a landscape view of a ravaged place. John Hartfield was a pioneer in the use of art as a political weapon. In his work, Little German Christmas Tree, he referenced anti-utopian ideals about Hitler and his regime. Previous pieces show pain and disquiet in the artists, while Jasper John's flag is a showing of pride. In protest to the McCarthy era, the work was constructed over literature that accused Jasper of being a communist in an effort to prove his loyalty. Vito Acconci creates a feeling of safety for the person sitting on the swing. In his work, Instant House, by being enclosed in the flag of our country, yet shows a completely different image from the outside. Starting as a billboard painter, James Rosenquist takes a critical look at war and how it has shaped our life of convenience. From a hair dryer that looks like a jet engine, to a plate of spaghetti that resembles disembodied intestines, these shapes and sights seen in both war and everyday life challenge our ideals, and subtly pop the safe bubble we live in. Chris Burden's All the Submarines of the USA gives viewers insight to the power our government has put beneath the oceans. Resembling a school of fish, Burden questions the need for such an extensive underwater arsenal. After all is said and done, Maya Ying Lin's Vietnam Memorial reminds us once again of the harsh price of war. Reflections can almost be seen as an encounter between the living and the dead. These various pieces are stark reminders of consequences of steps we have taken as a nation to protect and ensure our freedom.